Elon Musk said that one day all transportation will be electric except for rockets. Yes, that even includes airplanes, which have long been on his list of things to electrify. The Tesla CEO first floated the idea in an interview in September 2018. The plane he envisioned was a vertical takeoff and landing, or VTOL, vehicle capable of flying at supersonic speeds at high altitudes. The idea has largely remained a far-fetched dream because in order for Musk's design to work, the plane would require a battery with an energy density higher than 400 watts per kilogram. Tesla's newest batteries, Panasonic's 2170 batteries, used in Model 3 cars, can only achieve an energy density of around 260 watts per kilogram. Tesla is working to increase that capacity at unprecedented speed right now. In a new exchange with ARK investment analyst Sam Corus on Twitter, Musk said Tesla may be able to achieve volume production of 400 watt per kilogram batteries in just three to four years. Although that will largely be a result of Tesla's effort to extend a vehicle's driving range, a battery of that capacity will be just powerful enough to get an airplane off the ground. Batteries of 400 watt per kilogram with a high cycle life being produced in volume, not just a lab, is not far. Musk tweeted Monday night in response to Chorus's post speculating on Tesla's electric jet project. Musk's comment came just two weeks after Tesla's battery research team in Canada published a new paper in the scientific journal Nature that discussed the latest progress in Tesla's battery technology and possible breakthrough performance in a next-gen battery cell. Such high energy density can increase the range of electric vehicles by approximately 280 kilometers or even enable electrified urban aviation. Researchers led by the physicist Jeff Dunn wrote in the paper. Tesla hosted the Battery Day event along with the company's annual shareholders meeting on September 22nd. The electric car maker announced updates on several key projects, including the Cybertruck, its battery production facilities, and a rumored super battery that could last a car up to 1 million miles throughout the battery's life. Tesla could maybe one day create an electric vehicle takeoff and landing craft, but don't expect it anytime soon. On Sunday, the Tesla CEO Elon Musk responded via Twitter to a fan question about whether his electric car company will enter the aviation space with a VTOL vehicle. While it would be a radical shift in the company's efforts, Musk has hinted at plans for a VTOL before. And his latest comments suggest it's not entirely out of the question, but it's not a priority. Enough already on my plate in Teslas. Maybe one day we'll do a prototype. Those are relatively easy. Volume production with high reliability and low cost, and passing all regulations, is 100 times harder. The comments are the latest hint at Musk's plans for a zero emissions flying machine. But these have been more than a decade in the making. Musk floated the idea back in 2009 when he said in a TechCrunch interview that an electric plane gets more feasible as battery energy improves. He also mentioned the idea in a brief cameo appearance in the 2010 film Iron Man 2, a film where lead actor Robert Downey Jr. turned to Musk as a model for the titular character. While Musk has had the idea for a while, he's remained firm that one of the biggest hurdles to an electric jet is energy density. The Tesla Model 3's battery has a density of around 250 watt hours per kilogram. Musk claimed in 2018 that a jet would need around 400 watt hours per kilogram at a minimum, perhaps even 500 for desirable performance. The project came to the fore once more on Tesla's battery day in September, when the company unveiled a series of advancements that could make batteries cheaper and faster. Prior to the event, Musk said that a 400 watt hour battery is around three to four years from volume production. During the event's question and answer session, Musk was asked about the jet again. While he didn't commit to Tesla actually making the jet, he did say that, quote, our batteries will, over time, start to approach the 400 watt hours per kilogram range. On his Twitter page, Musk has recently dropped more hints that the jet is on his mind. In October, in response to a post about the anniversary of the supersonic jet Concorde's last commercial flight, Musk wrote that, quote, there should be a new supersonic jet, this time electric. Musk appears not to have given up on his electric jet idea, but he has to focus on Tesla's other priorities. That means electric cars, solar energy, and battery storage. Tesla is known as an automaker now, but in July, Musk declared his ambition for clean energy to account for half of the company's output in the future. It's quite a goal, especially considering clean energy accounted for just 6% of the company's revenue at the time. 
At Battery Day, Musk outlined how battery technology could transition the world to clean energy. It would involve boosting annual battery production for electric vehicles from 0.1 terawatt hours today to 10 terawatt hours and production for other energy types to jump from 0.006 terawatt hours to 10 terawatt hours. Later that day, Musk said Tesla's new batteries could reduce investment per gigawatt by 75% and require a tenfold smaller building footprint per gigawatt hour. Musk may not want to shift Tesla into aviation, but the company appears to be making big strides towards boosting battery production to transition the world onto clean energy.